All right, here I am again, folks. It's Tom from Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. I'm back, and I'm not going to say better than ever, but I'm back. Uh, Tony's back with us. He's running the camera behind there. He's waving to everybody. He thinks you can see him. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, as, as you know, you know, some things happened. I was away for a little bit. Eh, you know, what happens, happens. I will say this. Uh, I got some new um, medicines uh, from my, uh, my, my recent excursion. Let's call it that. Uh, and one of the pills, one of these pills is $5.50 per pill. I could go get a Taco Bell box for that. But I guess one of them is healthier for me than the other. I'm not sure which. Anyway, here we are. It is Thursday, May 7th, 2020. I have no idea how many days until anything can happen anymore because initially they said I could open up or retail in general could open up on the 12th. Now I don't know if we can. Uh, so I'm not even doing a countdown anymore. Uh, we'll open when they say we can open or I'll just open and, and come and get me. Okay, uh, today in history, uh, in 1901, Gary Cooper, an American actor, was born, and in 1919, uh, Evita Perón, uh, the first lady of Argentina, was also born. In 1824, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony premiered in Vienna, so uh, Schroeder from the Peanuts Gang uh, is probably celebrating that today. And in 1847, and somehow this seems fitting with the, the medical theme we seem to be having, the American Medical Association was established on this day in 1847 in Philadelphia, PA. So there we go. As always, I'm going to remind you, eat, eat good, uh, eat healthy. Okay, just eat. Uh, take your meds, stay hydrated, and we... We started adding exercise in there because, you know, it's supposed to be nice today. It's going to go south bad tonight. But, you know, if you get the chance to go outside, maybe take a walk or, you know, shoo the kids out of your yard, whatever. Okay. And, as always, we're going to take three items out of our job jar. Just suggestions of things you could do to stave off the boredom uh, that has been going on. Uh, mend a fence. Uh, whether literally or figuratively, whether you have, you know, a hole uh, in the back 40 fence where the cattle are escaping or you and your next door neighbor have been feuding for years, get out there and, you know, take care of that situation. Uh, it's a good time to do that. You, you never know if you're going to get a chance tomorrow. Let's not get too somber. Okay, next thing. Binge watch a movie series. Now that's some of you are probably already doing that, but yeah, start on one. It's you know Harry Potter. Uh, you know my favorites are like the Godfather series. God, I love those movies. And uh, what else? Yeah, any of the Die Hard movies, any of the James Bond movies, uh, Lethal Weapon movies. Just just find a series with a bunch of them and just sit down and start watching them. Well, let me tell you, I've kind of been binging the the James Bonds. And as much as I am a huge James Bond fan, yeah, there's a few of those later Roger Moore ones that were better left not made. Okay, and our final suggestion for today is <laughs> text an X with just one more beef. You know, just get that last word in. <laughs> you know? Because what you gonna do? Come get you? She's under lockdown. Or he, as the case may be. So yeah, just just let them know. One, get that last word in, dog on it. So there we go. That's what we 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 suggest today. And as always, we're going to end with story time. And again, in keeping with our medical theme, which we seem to have today, it would seem this fella went to see his doctor, and his doctor berated him 
for being overweight. And he told him, you know, you really need to get out there and do some exercise. What sort of stuff do you do? He said, well, I, I, I used to, you know, golf. I love to golf. He goes, well, why'd you stop? He says, Doc, my eyes are just so bad, I, I can't see where the ball goes anymore. He says, well, I'm going to tell you what. He said, I have another patient who also needs to exercise. Now, he isn't a golfer, but I'm sure I, I can convince him to just go out with you, and he has perfect eyesight. So he can just walk along with you, and you can get some exercise, and he can get some exercise. The guy says, hey, I love to golf. I'm willing to try it. So a few days go by. They end up at the golf course. They're at the first hole. He says to the guy, he says, okay, you ready? He goes, yeah, ready to go. So he tees up the ball. He takes a big old swing at it. It goes sailing. And he looks at the guy. He goes, did you, did, do you see where it's at? He goes, yeah. He goes, where? I forget. Okay, and there we are. It's also an old people joke. Uh, <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, hang in there. Things aren't as bleak as they were. Uh, hell, you know, we've got the murder hornets coming now. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the apocalypse. Uh, we're going to get through it, probably. Um, I'm, I'm, on, I, 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 I'm on your side. We're going we're gonna, to, you know, hang in there. Um, I'm fine. Keep yourself safe. Take care of yourself. Take care of your friends. Know that I'm here if you need to talk or anything else. Um, we need you. You are needed to take care of your friends and loved ones. So hang in there. I'm going to be here. We'll see you next time. Be careful. <laughs>